Good day everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again with another toy review. Okay, um, here we go. Um, I have another Black Series action figure. And this one is of the First Order Stormtrooper. Doesn't he look pretty amazing? Um... I got him for a really good deal. That's one of the reasons why I got him. Um, and I mean, you know what? I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go ahead and break this guy open. But first, before I do that, I wanted to show you guys. This was the uh, from the Black, Ser uh, Black Series Darth Vader. Really, really, really cool. Cool Darth Vader. My first Darth Vader. Uh, action figure right here I did a review of him really 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 cool please check out that video if you guys didn't check out that video I gave him a really really good rating okay but on to the main star of the show we have here Stormtrooper so I'm not going to uh, yap at the beginning of the video as I normally do got my trusty Punisher knife and I'm going to break this guy open right here. And we're going to get straight to the figure. So I feel like I do enough yapping. And I'm really anxious to get this guy out of the package. So let's take him out. We'll use Star Wars box as the backdrop. And let's pop him out. It looks really, really awesome. Ugh. It feels like he has some pretty nice weight to him, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. And there he goes. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty cool. I, I really like these uh, Black Series uh, Stormtroopers. And if I can get his feet straight. Actually, does he have a bend? Let's see. He should have a bend, right? Kind of a little bit. Oh, maybe does he? Does he have a bend? Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh, okay, it bends at a a weird angle. Hopefully this guy doesn't break on me. Yeah, that joint is a little stiff right there. Okay, I don't want to force it because I don't want to snap off his leg. Because I have uh, done reviews before where I have snapped off <laughs> the, the toy's leg. Uh, check out the articulation. And, yeah, he's pretty good articulation. He kind of has, like, a double-jointed elbow right here. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, these these elbows, they don't seem like they want to bend that far. He's very, very tight. He's not loose at all. Uh, there we go. Look at that articulation. Wow. Look at that articulation on that. Look at that. He can, he can hula hoop if you wanted to. Very, very, very nice. Very, very nice Stormtrooper. I'm pretty pleased with this guy. It seems like his legs are crooked. I don't know why. Like, he's kind of bow-legged. Okay, let's stand him up here for you guys. If I can. Let's break out his weapons. So, there's his blaster. At least I think that's that's what it's called, right? And here's his other mini blaster. <laughs> Let's put that over here. Okay. Um, I like the detail on there. I like I like the black and white. It matches his uniform. That's really, really, really cool. I love the, de the details on these guns. So let's pop uh, the weapons in this guy's hand. Um, that one seems kind of loose. Let's see. Maybe, is it this gun? There we go. Maybe it's that gun. Maybe he holds this weapon with his hand over here. Let's see. Okay. And... Huh, huh, huh. No, he doesn't. He doesn't really hold that. That kind of sucks. Maybe... Well, it goes so well in that hand. But he doesn't really have a trigger finger right here. So there's really nothing to grip on. Hmm. Okay. Um. And he doesn't have a like a gun holster. That's that sucks. 
Hold on, I'm gonna take this out and put this one in. Maybe this one will work better. No, see, he doesn't really grip that very well. It's kind of loose in his hand. Even though I do like this one better, this gun better. Uh, let's see, should I put this one in his hand? Uh, I don't know. Okay. He's not too shabby. Let's get a close-up on, on this guy. And, uh, yeah, he's a really, really, really cool-looking stormtrooper. I really like him. I like the detail. He, he is pretty light. You know, I don't know about the plastic. I wish this plastic had a little bit more weight to it. I don't know what it is with uh, me and action figures weight, but it seems like... I don't know. Hold on. Is that... He's kind of got like an opening right here near the crotch. Is that part of his wardrobe? Is that part of his uniform? Where he has that big opening there? Yeah, because this opens or maybe his leg needs to be turned a little. I don't know. Is the design... Let's check out... Is there a design for this guy? No? That we can use a reference for? Yeah, so he's kind of got like a gapage here. And I guess, I guess that's how the uniform... Uh, is made, I guess, right? He does have a break here uh, on the upper thigh, right by the crotch. But you can't really turn it all that much. And this oh, this knee bends right here, but this one is kind of snip. Oh, there we go. There we go. He had to loosen it up a little bit. Okay. So that one's loose. He does have ankle pivot, which that's pretty awesome. Good uh, articulation in his ankles. Uh, overall, he's really, 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 really well articulated. That's uh, that's a good thing. That's a plus. Um, yeah, this is the second figure in a row where he they had a really, really great articulation, and they managed to keep the sculpt. The last figure that I reviewed was the uh, the Punisher uh, action figure. And uh, he had really, really good articulation. The Punisher Marvel Legends, um, the Daredevil wave, uh, you know, that figure had really, really good articulation. This, had, this one has pretty good articulation as well. Let's see, does he do the splits? Can he do the splits? Uh, yes, yeah, somewhat. It's kind of hindered by his, uh, uh, these part here, his pouches on the side. But yeah, he's pretty cool. I'm pretty pleased with this uh, figure. Let's put Darth Vader next to him. Let's see how he stands with Darth Vader. There's Darth Vader right here. The only bad thing about these uh, Black Series uh, Star Wars action figures is that uh, they have a very, a very hard time standing uh, on their own. Let's see. Stormtrooper is definitely a little bit more smaller than Darth Vader. Yeah, that's the only... Uh, knock I have against these uh, Star Wars Black Series figures is that they have a hard time standing on their own. And it seems like his leg is kind of a little cockeyed, like he's bow-legged. You see it? Where his foot is going inward right here. And I don't know if that's just this action figure or if that's just how they, they're made. If you guys have a figure like this um, and his legs are just kind of bow-legged, like they don't really stand straight, like he has like a broken leg. I mean, he stands like that, but it's kind of like he's standing like in a super supermodel pose right there. Overall, he's a very, very nice figure. Very well detailed, like I said, very well articulated. It's just this leg right here that just kind of is kind of inward. Which, that kind of sucks. Let's put his gun up like that. Yeah, his joints are a little stiff, and they can only go so far because of his uh, his uh, costume. I guess that's what you call it, right? His uniform's costume. Oh, shit! <laughs> I flicked the gun. The gun went flying. It flicked out of his hand. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good uh, head articulation. Very nice sculpt. Very well detailed. Um, you know, this is a pretty good series right here. Pretty good black series for Star Wars. Um, there he goes. 
Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this uh, figure. Okay. Um, I'm kind of the only thing I'm really kind of disappointed. Well, a few things I'm kind of disappointed with. The foot kind of goes in this way, and you can't really get it to turn, um, which that kind of blows. He just he's kind of bow legged. He's kind of made that way. I don't like I said. I don't know if it's just this figure or if it's just other figures as well. And I don't want to really turn it too far because I don't want to snap his leg off. And you can't really turn it inwards. Um, so that's kind of that kind of sucks. If you had, like I said, if you had this figure, let me know, guys. If you had the same kind of problem of the stormtrooper being a little bow legged. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna have to factor that in right there because that's kind of a defect. Uh, he's pretty light. Like I said, I have to get used to these light figures because I'm so used to uh, handling like heavy, heavy figures that these light figures, when I deal with them, you know, I just feel like when they're light, they're just kind of cheaply made. But, um, you know, I'm kind of getting over that a little bit um, about them being so light. Um, you know, they are a toy. They are a $20 toy. You know, but when you're so accustomed to buying, you know, action figures that are heavy, and then when you get like a light figure like this guy right here, um, you know, you you it's very hard. Um, it, it, it's it's easy. Well, it's very easy to be objective, should I say? Um, but overall, he's really really nice. I do like the plastic on here. I do like uh, how it looks. Very detailed. Very nice overall. I mean, he's a very, very nice uh, stormtrooper. Okay, so here's my rating. Um, yes, I'm factoring in that he is uh, bow legged. Um, the lightness factor is not gonna, it's not going to uh, play a part in my uh, in my rating. But I really do like this guy. I really like the sculpt. I really do like the gun. Uh, I like the head sculpt, the body sculpt. Everything about this guy is uh, damn near perfect. Um, but he is not a perfect figure. So, therefore, guys, I am going to give this guy... I'm going to give this guy a 9. He's really, really good. I really, really do like the wardrobe. It's very, very well done. There's no blemishes or anything on it. I mean, it's very, very, very well made. There's no splotches, nothing. And it's pretty clean. And it's brand new. Like a brand new Corvette. And the paint detail, everything about it is on point. There's like nothing, nothing wrong with this figure. Uh, oh, there's a little spot right there, a little black. Oh, wait, actually, it rubbed off. Okay. Okay. But everything about this guy is on point. There, I can't find anything really wrong with this uh, with this figure other than that crooked leg. So, um, yeah, this guy definitely a nine. I'm I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely satisfied with the Star Wars uh, Stormtrooper. Um, and I, I definitely really, really like this uh, Star Wars Black series. I definitely would look forward to getting more figures from from the series and uh, and reviewing it for you guys. But I definitely recommend them. If you're an action figure collector, you know, get them. If you're a Star Wars fan, you should have this guy in your collection. I mean, he's he's just that cool looking. He's really, 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 really awesome. So, yeah, nine and a half. Here he is with Darth Vader. And of course, Darth Vader is uh, taller, uh, should be taller than the Stormtrooper. Move that out the way. Yeah, very, very nice together, guys. Okay, so there's my review of the First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, and this is by Hasbro, right? Yep, by Hasbro. And yeah, I give him a 9. There you go, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, do all that fun, fancy stuff. You can follow me on social media, hit that notification button so you can get awesome reviews like this on a daily basis. If not a daily basis, then uh, a weekly basis. So there you guys have it. There's my review of the First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, there's Anakin Skywalker making his appearance, as always. That's my cat, if you guys don't know. 
he wanted to make an appearance because he was a fan of this figure. Every time, every time he there's he, he's a fan of a figure, he likes to make an appearance. So there's my cat making an appearance. So there you guys have it. If you like this video, like I said, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and there you guys have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.